Hey everyone, the Shepherd from TeamworkCast.com here with another entry into my Let's Play Monster Hunter 4 series. Uh, we're starting off in the mining village. This is the second village, and we have one quest we have to complete in order to advance the storyline, but also to finally uh, upgrade some badly needed gear. Uh, it's a frog here, and uh, despite being a frog, it's kind of like a rock frog. He's actually weak to water. So all those fights against Ketchawatcha will help us out a little bit in that Ketchawatcha has given us some water weapons to kind of help us out against fighting him. Aside from that, he's actually a really interesting fight. He's uh, got a lot of things to do with rocks. He moves rocks around a lot, so I was having some conversations again with the local Monster Hunter crew, and they blame Pokemon, which I guess kind of makes sense. I guess uh, rocks are weak to water. I guess if you give him enough time, <laughs> I don't know, kind of makes sense to me. Um, but otherwise, this is a probably be a, a pretty decent wall for people that are new to the series. He, he has the ability to do quite a bit of damage, so kind of like a, a bear off in that sense. But I guess you'll just have to see him yourself to see it, see the damage you can do. Oh, and uh, for whatever reason, I thought he would start in eight. But maybe he doesn't, so let's, uh, he usually starts off in 8. And we're going to maybe fast forward it a little bit until we find the guy. It's almost like a little rude. Like it kind of burped in my face a little bit. Okay. So that rock, he's just kind of almost putting in our way just to make the uh, battlefield harder to traverse. Because it goes away rather quickly. But this rock is one that, oh wow, he bit down on that right away. Usually he'll carry that around a little while. And I don't know what his tell is for breaking it. He's, he's running around with it even now. But if you do not have upgraded armor, that will take a significant chunk out of your life. Now, I say the most important break to get is probably his tusks. You can see here, especially with our water lance, it's not hard to get. Uh, aside from that, I'm pretty sure the front claws can be broken. Now, a controversial break, one that was uh, yelled at me about in the uh, first live stream we did with this game on Twitch TV, which, by the way, twitchtv.teamworkcast. Uh, if you have yet to follow that, you probably should. Now, we had somebody screaming that you could break the tail. Um, but this game has this really weird trend of having monsters where the tails actually don't get cut. Uh, you can break them. A lot of ones that have weird breaks rather than cuts, but I have yet to find a way to break it. Maybe I'll stab it a little bit right now, see if anything happens. Like, I don't know if they just saw it changing forms in a video, or if something actually smashes off of it. I don't know. I've yet to have any significant effect on it. Maybe at some point in this little series here, we'll find out. So, it's an interesting effect of just putting a big rock in the way. But funny how it uh, works for him and uh, works for us, but not on him. I 
Right? Like, what's he gonna do with it? Okay. Alright, there we go. He goes tusks, at least. So now would typically be a good time to try and ride him a little bit. We might want to actually sharpen first. The nice thing is that little, like, rock moving attack he does just takes up so much of his time. He's actually exhausted now, so actually I'm not going to ride him. So I want to take this chance to just get as much hits off as possible. Like, I'm not fully aware of any anything that you can break on him that you can't get through uh, the normal reward screen that isn't his tusks. I'm sure there is, because he's so big. And I know his claws are a really important thing to have. It's the single most important part he can give us now. It's his claws. So many items need them. Kind of makes sense to be careful about that rock. To be especially careful of where we are in relation to if it's going to hit us from behind or from straight on because we want to be able to get our counter off. Wow. That was just a very quick kill. Again, scary looking, but not. You know, it does a lot of damage, but not particularly hardy. And the time on this is going to look a little off. I had to spend about five minutes, not necessarily finding him, but... Other related duties. So I mean, that'll be my basic standard, you know, method of operation on him is I'll, I'll break his tusks first. You know, I'm pretty sure the hands again are a break. And then I guess we'll try and hit the tail. I just, I've never seen it break. Maybe you have to hit it with water to break it? He is weak to water. I don't know. We'll find out sooner or later. Somebody will probably post it in the comments on how you're supposed to break it. You know, that isn't unprecedented of requiring a certain element to, to break a uh, part on a monster. Yeah, there are those tusks. And that sub-quest rewards gives a ton of parts. 